Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Before I begin this video, I do want to say don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below because YouTube is doing some very fishy stuff on my channel and it's upsetting me and my homegirls. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so that my videos can show up and recommend it and on your news feed so you can see more of what this channel has to offer. So today's video, I'll be trying on two wigs, two short wigs that are super trendy and cute for the summertime and very affordable. This wig that I have in my hand is in the style Nuna. I purchased this wig in a color number 1B and it's from It's a Wig. Nuna can be curled, so you can use your flat iron and your curling iron to recurl this wig. Nuna is a full cap wig and it does not have any combs in it. However, it does have an adjustable strap in the back and she does have a left side parts so you guys i have a big head i hope nuna is going to fit there is no comb in the back for me to secure her so i hope she fits here's the part just going to align the wig up to my head oh god <laughs> what do y'all think of miss nuna so far nuna's cute nuna Nuna is cute. Miss Nuna is cute, y'all. Miss Nuna is giving me 90s. She's giving me 20s. She's giving me a mixture of all of that. I think she's very sassy. She's giving me sass and pizzazz. Now, <laughs> I don't see the parts. I don't see the parts. So I know I'm going to have to go in with some type of powder foundation and you know, just spruce that up a little bit. Taking the wig straight out of the package, the parting wasn't the best, but it is a part. So they do give you something to work with because a lot of the short wigs that I have tried in the past, they did not come with a part. And if it came with a part, it was like a very weird part with no knots. I'm glad that they have knots on this part, but they of course need to work on making that part look a lot more natural. Maybe have one comb in the back, for people to secure the wig down but for security purposes you can always just put some bobby pins in the wig just to make sure that it is completely you know secured on your head i don't know what's going on on this side okay maybe she comes down like this i love my little sideburns and my long backs and <laughs> that's what she's giving me she's cute oh look at her from the side from the side honey she's looking real cute from the side so when you are thinking about wearing a short wig you want to make sure that you make your hair underneath your natural hair as flat as possible um so that when you put your wig on it can lay down as flat as possible i did do really small straight back cornrows on my own natural hair and then i like pinned it so that you can't see it as much now that's not the best braid pattern for short wigs because obviously there's going to be a hump here but i don't really feel that hump i feel like she's flatter than most wigs so i like that you want to make sure that you're doing like a circle circular pattern underneath okay so now i'm back and all i did was basically just spray a little bit of water on her i put some mousse on her and just ran my hands through it and then in the front it was just like sticking off a little bit where the part is so I just got a little bit of Gorilla Snot and I just basically just <laughs> laid that part down and that is pretty much it. There is some like finger wave action in the front and I just went over that with the mousse. That's it. I didn't do much to this wig at all. I think I really, really, really like this wig. There's really no need to try on the second one because I think that this one is a winner. But let me take off my head scarf so you guys can see the final look. Oh, and the last thing that I did do was just to put some um, makeup on the parting space so that you can see it a little bit better. So here we go. Here is Miss Nuna that I am so obsessed with so far. I love her. I'm just so happy that she's so flat. Like, she's definitely giving me Miss Betty Boop. Love. I'm 
more I play around with this wig, this wig is starting to remind me a lot of Betty. I did do a video for Betty um, last summer and this is very, very, very similar. I don't think Betty had a part, so I'm glad that this one does have a part, but it's pretty much the same thing, the finger wave, um, vintage type of feel. Definitely, definitely, definitely get your hands on this wig if you can. She's definitely worth it, and I think it will look phenomenal on you. I really, really like this wig. It looks so natural and cute and short and trendy and carefree and all of that good stuff. It's just really giving me everything. I think I like it better without the kiss curls. The kiss curls wasn't really doing it for me. <laughs> now that I kind of moved those out the way, she's giving me... She's giving me 2020. She's giving me what I need right now. Okay, I did shift the part a little bit over because I feel like the part was way too far on this side. So I did move the wig a little bit more, but I don't even want to take this wig off. As y'all can see, I clearly love this thing. I love, love, love it without the kiss curls. I mean, I like it with the kiss curls too, but I feel like this looks a lot more natural. Um, and it looks like I just got my hair finger waved. Super cute. I feel like I want to add like some gold accessories to it or something, but I don't got time for that. <laughs> so let's jump right into the next wig. Let me just take this one off. Now, taking this baby out of the package, she is giving me Miss 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 Nana. She is giving me Miss Grandma, Great Grandma, something along those lines, some type of mom <laughs> and grand. But uh, honey, this reminds me. Oh, y'all know what this wig reminds me of? Sophia from the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls is one of my favorite favorite TV shows, and this wig, y'all, is giving me Sophia and a color number one B, y'all. Is it not? <laughs> so I don't really know what to expect with this one, but I'm really, really, really hoping for the best. I used to get my little, my little pin curls when I had my short, relaxed haircut. So when I saw that Outre came out with this one, I was super excited to try it because I did a pixie wig video from them and I was absolutely in love with that wig. I had like seven of that same wig. I still have that wig, but I, I saw this one and it reminded me of that with pin curls. So I was like, let me just get my hands on this. This one has one comb in the back and it does have an adjustable strap on the back. I didn't even tell you the name of this. This is from Outre's Premium Doobie Wig Line. This is 100% human hair. So of course you can put product in it. You can cut it. You can style it. So you can pretty much do anything to this hair that you would with natural human hair, but you can't bleach it now. Can't bleach it, can't dye it, but you can like put heat on it. You can put product on this wig. So because of that fact, I, I feel like we can hook her up if she is giving us Sophia. The name of this should be Sophia, but it's not. The name of this wig is Curly Pixie. Type this info card thing and let's try Miss Sophia on. I know her name is Curly Pixie, but honey, until she's giving me otherwise, we're going to call her Miss Sophia. So let me put this comb in the back, stretch her forward. My head is big, of course, but okay, she got really, really nice stretch on her. Make sure she's lined up with my ears. She is. This hair is really scary. Like, I didn't even open my eyes or try this wig on, but just touching the sideburn area is scary because it feels like the sideburns are like an inch and a half or two inches thick, which is very odd. So I know I'm going to have to cut that. What do you guys think about Miss Sophia? What do you guys think about Miss Sophia so far? Is she a look? Is she be worked with? Should we call her by her name, Curly Pixie? Oh. Oh. me 80s y'all this is giving me the 80s that we don't need to bring back this is giving me <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know this is definitely giving me that that <laughs> the stock card look like it's, it's definitely giving me something not good y'all how are we gonna fix her up let me zoom in 
Oh, child. Oh, um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh. I, see, she don't have no part, so I can't even go based off of the part because she don't have no part. So I don't know what type of direction she's giving me. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the other wig and see how she comes out. So I'm just going to spray her with water, put some mousse on my hands, just run it through just so that these are not as tight and they're looking more of a wave. Then I'm just going to cut some of this thickness or density off of these sideburns, honey, because she don't need to be that thick. Let me do a full 360 for y'all. So here's the side. Miss Sophia on the left. <laughs> and here's the back of Miss Sophia. What is she giving y'all from the back? Is she something good? Can she be worked with? Comment down below your suggestions. Miss Sophia from the side, on the right. Miss Sophia, honey. I'm not exactly sure of the look that they were going for with this wig. But we're going to try some magic and I'll come right back. is in the front. Let's try to comb her a little bit. Okay. Okay. Sophia. Sophia. Let me see. Let me see. She kind of cute from the side though. Miss Sophie. Not like that. Mm-mm. Y'all, <laughs> I don't have high hopes for this. I really do not have high hopes for this one. Miss Sophia, why? Why couldn't you come through to the party? Oh my gosh. And because she doesn't have no part, it's like, okay, now y'all, Beige has tried her best to get Miss Sophia Petrillo ready for the party. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if she's a look. But I try my best. I, don't, I really don't know what type of look they were going for with this one, but oh, let's see if Miss Sophia is ready for the party. What y'all think? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> Miss Sophia, I mean, okay, okay. Miss Sophia isn't too bad. Like, she's bad, but she ain't bad, bad. Like, she's, she's giving me... My hair was in pink curls, and this is what I'm doing with my hair. Like, love it or hate it, period. Like, that's what Miss Sophia is giving me. Like, she's not as bad as I thought, because I like her from this side. Like, I think she's very, very, very cute, very ladylike on this side. This side is okay, too. Let me turn up my, turn up my light for y'all. But Miss Sophia Petrillo, she's definitely missing a part. Like, I don't even think. So for this wig, I had to basically cut some of the hair right here and add some powder foundation so that I could imitate a part a little bit so that you guys could make it, just kind of trick the eye to make it look like she got a part. <laughs> Although she don't, she don't got no type of part on here, but she's ready for the party on this side. I just have to figure out what's going on on this side. I really don't know. The sideburns are shorter on this side. I I don't know. I try my best though. I try my best. I don't really know how the back looks. I didn't get a chance to look back there. But the more you play around with her, I think I think you would start to like her. The more I have, like I'm just obsessed with how this region of the wig is looking. Like I like it. Y'all see my fake part in the front? <laughs> it's not really a part, but I just put a whole bunch of foundation there. But what you think? this wig and Miss Nuna comment down below in the comment section I would love to hear your thoughts which wig would you be picking up which wig do you already have which wig do you think looks best on me what do you think I should do with Miss Sophia Petrillo here I like how she's so short like I love 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 short black hair <sighs> okay she's not that bad the more I have her on you know starting to catch feelings for her you know I just I like her a little bit so um yeah y'all I just really wish she had at least 
lace parting in the front or some type of lace front so I could move her out my face a little bit. I love the fact that she's big head friendly. I have a huge head and she's not, you know, feeling like she's giving me a headache. She's not sliding off of my head. <sighs> yeah, she's covering my little kitchen naps in the back. I think, I hope. I don't feel them, so I think she is. This wig is giving me Nikki Murphy. This is definitely giving me Miss Nikki Murphy right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. Right.